Thank you, Emmanuel. I'll let you at the end explain how insert charts on our design. On my side, I create this interface with a couple of models, button, which change the value, arc item, depending of this value, I create a menu, menu button, different pages, different button, checkbox, switch, sliders, and value bind on the sliders, and on the home, an animation of the earth. Let's see what's happened on Figma. We are now on Figma. On Figma, I create all my static graphical assets, my main screen and my parameter screen. And as usual, I create all components. On these components, for example, on this button, I create all states. Now I just have to choose on the QT bridge for Figma how I want to export my group and each my layers. I can choose to export it on components, child, if I want to merge it or to skip. It. No, I just have to press the blue button. On Design Studio, my screen are imparted perfect pixel. On the product view, we retrieve all the components and the screen. And on the navigator, the structure and ordering of my screen. When I select an asset, all the information according to the assets are displayed on my right. Now, I suggest you to see together how to make a transition between the home screen and the parameter screen, how to make a button clickable, and how to animate an object. Now, how to make a transition into screen. The easier way, but it's not the only one, is to use the flow view editor. I already dropped my two screen on this flow view. Now, Let's create a flow, a flow action. The flow action is an a, a area like a mouth area. I will apply this area on the button. I want to be clickable. And now I just ask this button when I click on it to go on this screen. The same way for the other one. I know now when I'm going to click on the home button here. Let's go on the main screen. And it's done. And now we will create different states of the button. Let me create two states, a state off and on. I will choose the off states to be the default one. For if of then, I just have to choose what is visible and not. Now, I just have to enter the condition of what happened when we click on the button. And test. It's work. Now, I will show you how to make an animation with a timeline. The timeline gives to the user 
an overview of the animation, showing the current frame, the start and end frame of your animation. Let's play with the hearse. I will change the size 0 0.8 and insert a keyframe. Because it's a loop, I want at the end of my animation to create the same value 0 0.8. It's okay. I insert again a keyframe. Then I will change the scale value to 1. Insert a keyframe. And now let's play with the easing curve, which allow us to simulate the bump effect of the hearse, like this. Now let's play and check if it's OK. It's what I'm looking for. Perfect. And it's down on my side. I just have now to commit on the Git. And uh, I let Emmanuel continue. Thank you.